Hey guys, I'm Jerry Mitchellark, and I'm here in Titusville at the Institute of Military Technology. I had a chance to go through some of Reed Knight's personal guns, and he picked me out a really nice one here to get out on the range with. This is an FN model CAL. Never heard of it before, made very few of them. It's a semi-automatic, fully automatic, 5.56, 20 round box fed, semi-automatic carbine, automatic carbine. So not having ever fired one or seen one, I got pretty excited, so he gave me some ammunition and a chance to get out on the range and play with it. So what I'm gonna do is load it up and on the timer, I'm just gonna try to bump some rounds out semi-automatic and see what kind of splits we can do here with this FN. It should be interesting. All right, here we go, guys. About three or four of them semi-automatic. Yeah, first one was a little bit slow. When I was getting the hang of the trigger there, they were coming in at about 1,500 splits. So let's just, let's see what this thing is going to do on fully automatic. Let's set it on RPM here, which is rounds per minute. And uh, here we go. Let's make it burn. All right, that was a three-shot burst. And then we're coming in at about 1,400 splits. So let's go full auto, same drill. Let's dump the rest of the mag. Now that was fun. <laughs> there you have it, guys. It was running at 700, 460 rounds per minute. So it's actually very controllable, fully automatic fire. So. 13s, 14s, so I was shooting it right at about the same speed as it does fully automatic, very controllable. We're going to talk a little bit more about this later on. Okay, we're back from the range and we have the FN model CAL. CAL. Right. See, I get that confused. I've never seen one before. Never even knew they existed, uh, especially in 556. I don't I have never associated this line of firearm with that caliber. So, yeah. had a chance to shoot it. Functioned great. So, if you could tell us a little bit about the history of this, I think the viewers would really enjoy it. Well, Jerry, this is a, this was one of one of the very first guns that Fabric National FN mm -hmm. built, they were building and manufacturing the FN FAL, right. which was the 308 rifle. So as you can see, some of the lines and some of the, the pistol grip and some of the features of this are very, very similar to then the FAL. Adjustable gas the system, just, exactly the same. Exactly. The gas piston was exactly the mm -hmm. same. The adjustable gas system is exactly the same. Um, it had a very similar 20 round box magazine that's very similar to what the, the FAL had. Now, it also had a, uh, a few other little features that other people did not have at the time, and that is that this gun had a, had a safe, a semi-automatic, a three-shot burst, and a full auto. That caught me off guard on the range. I thought I was on auto, and it went three shots, and I thought I had a malfunction, but right. uh, I didn't realize the three-shot feature was there before the U.S. government had it. Yeah, absolutely. That, so and, it's a and pretty a, interesting feature right there also. Another feature that's even more more interesting than okay. that, this has a, a kind of a clock escapement mechanism so that every time you pull the trigger, mm -hmm. it resets itself. So let's say you fire two shots, okay. then when you let off of it, on a, our M16, it only fires one. This does not. This goes back and it fires three again. Three again. So it resets itself each time. Okay. And then of course all the way up, then it's in the in the full auto full auto mode. So this uh, this gun has a lot of really neat features. It has a uh, a grenade launcher basically on the on the front of it, adjustable gas system, as you know, it has also it has a a grenade shutoff device okay. so when you put a grenade on here mm -hmm. you actually turn this so it does not cycle the weapon 
so it uses all the energy that it has. So um, one of the, they never made very many of these guns. This gun actually is serial number um, 110. So again, they never made very many of them. And the reason that they said they never made very many of these guns was if 556 wasn't that popular okay. at the very beginning. Everybody was entrenched and in love with the 308. But another reason, FN claims that this gun was so expensive to build because it had such high quality in it. And as you shot this mm -hmm. thing, you just noticed it just reeked with smoothness very the smooth, way yeah. this gun worked and everything. So again, it's a it's a very unique gun. Um, uh, they did not, like I said, didn't build very many of them, but it, it's very lightweight. And yes, uh, it as just, you, it was it was a pleasure to shoot, wasn't it? It was. It just feels like a quality piece when you pick it up. It was uh, it was a pleasure to shoot. There again, every time I get something and I think it's rare, he brings out something distinctively different and even more rare. So I appreciate the time on the range with this one. Thank you very much. You bet, Jerry. It's a it's it's a it's it's interesting to let someone like yourself to shoot these different guns and have an impression of what you see different and what you see that that, that you feel because. There's very few people that have fired as, or pulled as many triggers as you have, and you basically have a, a good understanding of, of what it should feel like. So I'm, I'm glad you got an opportunity to shoot these guns. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did.